Mark Humayan. I will be just making the introductory comments here uh, for you uh, and providing a market overview. Uh, so basically, um, this is a combination uh, spotlight on gene and cell therapy, as you can see here. I uh, put some pictures up there that shows how perhaps schematically AAV works and some of the cell-based therapies. Um, but what exactly are we talking about here? Um, according to Coherent Market Insights, this global cell and gene therapy, this is not ophthalmology, but all over, is about $6 billion in 2017 is, and is projected to exhibit an um, increase of 21.9% uh, over the forecast period, so over the next few years. Um, it's to uh, surpass about $35 billion by 2026, if you do the calculation. Um, the FDA expects it will see more than 200 applications a year, um, you know, more than 200 applications a year requesting permission in this area. Uh, and of course, we're familiar with the CAR T cell treatments um, that have um, captured a lot of the spotlight, so to speak. Uh, the sector has raised $2.9 billion in venture capital uh, in 2018, and startups have raised $1.9 billion. So this is the whole uh, market uh, scope for you. It's not just ophthalmology. You don't want anyone to think that. Uh, in terms of ophthalmology, however, we've had some very good successes, as you know, um, in uh, gene therapy for rare retinal conditions, uh, Spark Therapeutics. Um, got FDA approval in 2017 and then uh, exclusively licensed certain regions to Novartis uh, for $170 million, as you see. Uh, and as many are familiar, it's an AAV to deliver a healthy copy uh, to, to, uh, to treat RP65 mutations in LCA. Nightstar, then in, uh, in June of 2019, uh, was acquired by Biogen for $800 million, and this um, initial indication is for the choroideremia, uh, but then they're also developing a technology for X-linked RP uh, and also preclinical asset targeted towards Stargards. So you'll be hearing from Gensite Biologics uh, here, gene therapy. Um, they're looking at, uh, in this session, you'll be hearing from them. They're developing gene therapy, but they also are developing optogenetics and a <coughs> mitochondrial targeting sequencing uh, approach um, that is more for optic neuropathy as far as I know, but we'll learn more from them perhaps if they decide to talk about that. Um, then in terms of gene therapy for drug delivery, this is a different approach. You're not fixing a genetic defect, but you're, de you're delivering, uh, for example, by Regenix Bio, they're using an AAV8 vector uh, to, um, to deliver um, a gene to the cells. And these cells can then produce an anti-VGF protein. Um, Adverum, similarly, is developing a proprietary caspid to deliver uh, expression cassette, which increases the expression of aflibercept. Uh, and then in this section, uh, you'll be hearing from Gyroscope Therapeutics, who are uh, looking at um, increasing the levels of proteins of the complement systems. Uh, and you'll also be hearing for I've. Ivenesis, which is developing actually a non-viral therapy for ophthalmic diseases. Uh, for example, what they're published on is TNF-alpha for uveitis. So you will be hearing from the, from the bottom two uh, companies on this list in this section. Um, now switching to cell-based therapies, I think everybody in the audience knows there are these multiple types of cells, the pluripotent, which can be embryonic or iPSC cells. Uh, multipotents are more derived from adult cells, and multipotent cells are only different than pluripotent because they can give rise to a few cell types and not most cell types. So they're limited in the type of differentiation they can go through. A word of caution, I think all of us have heard about this autologous fat injection, orthopedics, and other subspecialties do it. Uh, but for us in the eye space, this has created a, a problem spinning the autologous fat and then injecting it into the eye has led to blindness in patients with macular degeneration. Of course, that's a different um, topic of discussion and not something uh, we're talking about here. When we're talking about stem cells, we're talking here about IPS cells. For example, this, as many of you know, Yamanaka uh, and, and John Gruden won the uh, Nobel Prize for 
figuring out how to take iPS cells and programming them. them. Uh, and similarly, uh, early embryonic stem cells uh, are derived from blastocysts. So these are the cells that derived are, are, are derived into the very cells and the, the best cell line to date and you'll, it has been the retinal pigment epithelial cell line. I'll skip this slide. Uh, but uh, basically this is some work from uh, a company that I'm involved in, Regenerative Patch Technology, which shows these cells in the subretinal space in this cover of science uh, translational medicine magazine uh, for geographic atrophy. Um, and you can see here, as I mentioned, uh, these cells are being developed for atrophic AMD primarily, um, and they can be developed, they can be injected as a suspension or as a sheet. Um, and then, of course, um, for, uh, there are some that are also developing it for new vascular AMD. But I wanted to highlight the two companies that will be presenting in this session this is j -Site, which are actually developing retinal progenitor cells and Renuron, similarly, these retinal progenitor cells for indication for RP, so they'll be talking about that. So hopefully in this very quick summary, I've provided you know, the market of this space just generally and also for ophthalmology. Gene therapies led the way here with this first success uh, in ophthalmology with Luxterna. Uh, gene therapy for drug delivery is being developed, as I just mentioned, which is, an, uh, which is a different type of approach. Cell-based therapies are being developed, uh, and it's very interesting. A lot of people come up to me, and this idea has come up multiple times. Can you actually combine them? Can you actually create a gene therapy? Can you actually change the genetic code of the cells and then implant those cells in? So that's a future therapy that maybe somebody will take on in, in ophthalmology. So with that, um, my time is up, but uh, now you're going to move into the four companies, as I mentioned, which will be highlighting their work. And with that, um, you know, I think we'll, we'll have our first uh, presentation by Gensite.